Good afternoon. Could you start by telling me who is your name, please? Tony Norton. Okay, and what age category have you played in today? I've just played for the over 50 shadow team. Fantastic. And what's your walking football club name? Wiltshire Walking Football. What's your preferred position? A striker. Okay. First off, congratulations and celebrations on being chosen to represent your country. Yeah. yeah. How's it, how have you found the day so far? Brilliant. Great camaraderie, which is what walking football is all about. Oh, yeah. how, so how did the how's your game how did your game go? Good day at the office? Great day at the office for me. Two goals, so I can't complain. Fantastic. So what's your favourite thing that you remember about Jack Charlton? <laughs> That's a difficult one. Um being half Irish, I used to cheer Ireland on in the the Euros and everything and it was great to have Jack Charlton as a manager, but also as a nineteen sixty six World Cup winner. Yeah. So, um, can you tell us a little bit about background? Were you sporty when you were younger? Did you um, play any sports like running football? I played normal football up until I was around 33, packed it in until I found walking football at the age of 50. Mm -hmm. Fantastic. Um, so, how did you like first get involved with walking football after you found it? I got involved after the Barclays advert and I helped Wiltshire walk. Wiltshire uh, FA set up walking football in Wiltshire and I'm, oh, yeah. I'm the one basically now that's grown it in the last six years and built it up to what it is in Wiltshire now. Oh yeah. So how has the um, coronavirus pandemic uh, impacted on your life and uh, what, what's it been like to finally get back on the pitch? It's been massive. Um, obviously I've been furloughed from work so I've not worked since this all started back in March and then once we could start get, doing training we started having sessions of um, six people at a time. Now we're back actually being able to play again. It's an absolute blessing. We've all missed it and I've missed meeting the people, friends who have built up over the years. Yeah. Okay, fantastic. And has your club uh, started like retraining and um, if it has, how are they dealing with the return back to it after the you know, whole lockdown thing? Um, it's been difficult. We've started proper training because we do recreational sessions. So we've got recreational sessions. We've got five a week running now back. We've still got another four to bring back. But we had our first Wilts FC training two weeks ago. And it's difficult, but everyone's sticking to the new rules, trying to social distance. And we've had to introduce new rules like free touch just to make sure that we abide by the new rules. OK, that... Yeah, that's good. Uh, what do your friends and family think of you being chosen in to represent your country? What have they said about it? They're very proud of me, apart from my Irish family who have sent me messages, cut, telling me, calling me a turncoat and everything this morning, but wishing me all good luck, so it's, it's been great. Okay, so, been good for the for England, but not for London. So, I'm guessing turncoat kind of means traitor? Yeah, yeah, yeah for playing for England and right. Ireland. Right. So, what... What do you like most about walking football? For me, it's the, the social side and the friends. Um, I'm from Manchester originally, but lived in Wiltshire now for 12 years. And with me working, going out every morning, I never really had that many friends in Wiltshire, but this is, I consider I've got myself at least 400 friends now in Wiltshire. Wow. Um, so, um, so what is, uh, what do you think? Who do you think is the best walking footballer you know of at the moment? Ooh, difficult. Um, there is some very good ones within Wiltshire, but there's also some very good ones we've come across on our travels. Pelly's Pearls have some very good players, but so do Wiltshire and so do other teams. So it's hard to pinpoint one, um, but I would say out there today, there's at least half a dozen that I would class as in the best in the country. Okay. Uh, what's your favourite pastime besides the most legendary, the most inspirational sport, um, walking football? <sighs> favourite pastime? Um, spending time with my children and then my grandchildren, I suppose, really. I'm building Lego. <laughs> but don't put that in. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's, it's in. <laughs> well, it's in. You said it. Part, part of history. There you go. <laughs> okay. So, what's your favourite takeaway? Um, or restaurant meal? Oof, Chinese. Chinese. 
And what are your hopes, dreams and goals for the future when you when playing football? I hope today I've proved that I'm capable of holding a place down in the England squad and I hope it continues. But more than anything, I just hope walking football continues to grow and we get more and more people active and enjoying it. And finally, what advice would you give to somebody who wants to be standing well, sitting where you are, and now uh, representing your country in a game of walking football? Just stick to the rules. Do your best to play walking football. Stick to the rules and you'll get noticed. Yep. So thanks so much for taking the time to be in interviewed and on behalf of everyone involved at the at Walking Football Limited, um, we'd, I'd like to, we'd, we'd like to wish you a happy and healthy time playing Walking Football. Thank you very much. Thanks yep. a lot. Cheers thanks now. All the best. <laughs> yep.